Welcome to TMZ Live. Harvey Levin here. Charles here. So, uh, Gabriel Aubrey, um, you know, when we broke this story, is involved in kind of a <laughs> war with Halle Berry uh, over their six-year-old daughter, Nala, and her hair. She has accused him of uh, basically straightening her hair and lightening it to make her look white. Well, we got pictures of Gabriel out with Nala at dinner this week. Take a look at this, because this is interesting. And the we have a good story here. is back to... It does, it's not well, straightened they, here's anymore. Here's the thing. We never saw the hair curly. unlike this. Like, I know Hallie accused him of straightening out the hair, and it made it sound like it was chemicals, where it was just a blow dryer. But we never saw her hair straight. It always looks like this. She was if, suggesting... I, I think she was intimating that there were chemicals involved in this thing. No, we and, found and out... And if there were chemicals, the hair wouldn't be back to this point. That's why... We, we, also know, found we out. know there were not chemicals. In right. it. I mean, we know that for the reason you give, but I also can tell you that I know that elsewhere, right. that he used a blow dryer to straighten her hair because it's what a kid does when they're young. Halle Berry, he believes, um, and, you know, it's funny because he's been real silent in this and he's not, like, talking publicly, but we now know at least what he's saying. He thinks that she just doesn't like him and she's trying to drive a wedge between him and, and daughter. the daughter, which right. is crazy. And especially when you see in these photos that he she seems loved, to be, she, she loves, loves him, him and he looks like the greatest dad in the world. How weird is it too, guys, that Halle Berry then, which, because I, I agree with you guys, in that case, Halle Berry's the one making it a racial thing. And this is what she said in court, remember, that he doesn't like that his daughter's half black and is trying to straighten the hair because it's curly like a black person. That is what she's insinuating. And Harvey, we've talked to some other people about this that on, you know, that know Halle Berry are saying, oh yeah, that's what Gabriel's doing here. I don't know. I, I think the, all these facts now that are coming out that we know kind of makes her look like a bad person. And there's another theory here, and it's kind of something that has come up in divorces uh, that everybody's heard about, I'm sure, is that you have two people who, who separate in this case, and then one of them gets married, has a new family, and they want to kind of make the new family the family, not recognizing the fact that this other person who's no longer in her life is still the father of the kid. Well, and it's sad, Harvey, because he's, like you said, he's such a good father. Every, every single photo and video shows that. And by the way, everybody we've talked to, Mike, I, I've actually talked, I talked to somebody who owns a restaurant that he went to several months ago. And they came in, he had no dog in the fight, didn't know him at all. He actually called me and said, you would not believe what I just saw. And he didn't know anything about the war or anything like this. He said... Everybody in this restaurant stopped. Number one, they're both so good looking. Right. Uh, you know, Gorgeous Nala, and, Nala right. and Gabriel. But, she's, but he said it was so sweet watching the two of them interact. And remember, Hallie wanted to move G Nala to Paris with this ridiculous excuse that the paparazzi are less aggressive there than in the United States. Because, remember that? She failed she at that. She wanted to go there because that's where Olivier lives. And so she wanted to go, as you said, and start keep the new family going. But she did it under the pretext of, right. oh, the paparazzi are just so much more gentle in Paris. And it's like, that at a point, work. when you start adding this up and connecting the dots, it just seems like she's harboring a big, fat grudge. The whole situation with Hallie and Gabriel, I don't believe he was trying to whitewash Nala by making alterations to her hair. I think it was more of an intricate intricate plot to get under Halle Berry's skin, and it worked. Every mother does not want people messing with their child's hair. But it's, it wait, 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 wait. But it was, it's it was his temporary. child, and it's, it's his, his child, child, and it was too. temporary. It wasn't it's like his a permanent child thing too. I get that, but if I'm paying $16,000 a month in child support, that doesn't I give deserve it. a criticism. No, 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 That's not no. true. That doesn't give you the right to control the kid because you're paying child support because you make more money. That's not the case. You don't get to control just because you're paying the bill. And you don't. That's not the way it works. You don't pay the cost to be the boss? No, you don't. You absolutely <laughs> no. don't. Hey, this is Sean from Redondo Beach, California. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, it's, it's so obvious that Halle Berry is being irrational in this situation. She obviously has straightened her many times. But obviously, we see that she's storm. I mean, she's got some really straight hair there. Yeah, she's straightened her hair, but there's a difference between Halle Berry and the real woman. Is there really? Yes. Is being, there really? Uh, yes, being an adult and straightening your hair as opposed to he blew a dry. He blew dry his I know, no, hair. I'm saying if you chemically straighten but a he six didn't. year olds. I know, I get it. Guys, the bottom line here is I think everyone's starting to feel bad for Gabriel Aubrey. Before it was like he was some model. No, no, no. Who had I a do kid too. with Halle Berry. I think he's 
Jesus uh, Mike is right. a month uh, Mike is totally now, right. Nobody's well, shedding a like, tear for Gabriel Mike Alonso. Is right. Well, right, because he's making the money per month. He doesn't have to work. Yeah. I'm with you. But I think the tides no, are starting to turn. I, I agree with you. I she's, think they are feeling bad for him, and I, I think they feel think like so. she's kind of badgering him in court. When that other, when that other woman who, who, who just contacted us, the woman who said um, Gabriel keeps you know goading her and bringing her to court, it's the opposite. She's bringing him to 100%. court. 100%. Yep. I know, but st nobody's... Shall we move on to vagina? Yeah. Yes, we should. Uh, or you're asking me? Harvey oh. never says for 200. <laughs> um, <laughs> Usher. Wow. Uh, That's why wow. I thought he was talking to me. So, uh, no, well, we're talking about artsy uh, vagina. So Usher was down in Miami. <laughs> Sorry. That's so good. Usher, Man, come that on. Good. You open the door. What am I going to do? <laughs> Usher was in Miami at the uh, art show now, the, the Art Basel show. Uh, and what passes for art these days, or what is art, I shouldn't say passes for, because clearly it is, uh, has widened. Um, he walked up to a woman who was um, charging iPhones in her vagina. In her vagina. He went in and he decided that he would charge his iPhone for 10 minutes. Wanted to get some juice. And it worked. Okay, so, uh, Lena Marquise is the model, uh, Julia Sanelikova is the director of the show, and they join us right now. Hey, guys. This is the director of the gallery, the crown prince of hell, J.J. Bryan. She's and the oracle. I'm the oracle, and this, this is, is Lena Marquise, the performance artist. Wow. Okay, this is going to be difficult, okay. we can tell already. Wow. So, All right. what is the message? I mean, is, is this an issue of, of, of female power? Is this an issue of technology? Help us out with the Ian message. Smith in Rhodesia, you know, the, the white farmers in, in, in Zimbabwe being evicted from their lands, um, Maronites in Lebanon, Alawites, Alawites in Syria, Bashar al-Assad. It's all, all really about advancing the interests of Syria, the all regime right. in Syria, the Alawite power. So explain how, explain how cell phones and vaginas um, relate to Syria. Because we're charging it. We're charging the regime. We're always charging. We're always charging. What relationships are not related to charging well speaking of charging Always what's charging. the what's the end game for you guys because obviously this is not something that you sell that you market i mean i suppose you can get twenty dollars a charge but um it, it, what's the end game the, the devil is, the, is the, lord, the lord and the lord is the devil to commodify the body to, to commodify to the beginning is the end the uh, amorphous aside from you guys i'm just curious Honestly. who's your favorite artist satan Okay. Hey, thanks, guys. Wow. Appreciate Miami it. is. Uh... Okay. I'm. 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 I'm just saying that right out. This is BS. <laughs> okay. It's she just, just wanted to put a battery it's charger in. It's <laughs> BS. Okay. There was I'm no sorry. art. You I'm know what? sorry about I, it's that. It's not art. No. You know what? They tried to put it off like it's art. It's not it's art. Just, it was okay. Just, I'm sorry about that. And I'm. And I actually love art, but this is stupid. That was uh, not okay. Art. We are going to take a break. You know what is art? Sex tapes can be art. And Wiz Khalifa might have one. Uh, <laughs> some, look, ask Mike if sex tape is art. You know he thinks that's art. <laughs> when we come back, why Wiz may uh, be the subject of the next big celebrity sex tape. Something went down in a hotel room. You can imagine. <laughs>